everyone and happy Friday. Uh, it's good to see all of our Facebook followers here with us today. Um, my name is Lori Waltier, um, VP Communications and Culture at the Puyallup Center Chamber of Commerce. And I'm here today with Tamar Jackson. He is the Senior Director of Community Engagement with Workforce Central. He's also a keynote speaker and a DEAI consultant. Um, and today he's going to sit down with us and we're just going to talk about a lot of different kind of cool stuff that's going on. Welcome to Mar. Hey, thank you for having me. Uh, big shout out to the Puyallup area. Um, so glad to be here and be able to talk with you guys, letting you guys know everything that we have going on and everything that we're actually bringing into the community as well. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so why don't we just start out with what you got on your sweatshirt there, the collaboration for oh, a cause. Oh, collaboration for a cause? Oh, we're, we're just going right into it Yeah, then, huh? yeah, we can talk about other stuff oh, later, it's important. Okay, well, <laughs> collaboration for a cause is um, an event that was brought together back in COVID when we realized that a lot of our communities needed support, they needed resources, they needed access to um, things that were really closing down as the world was shutting down. So um, the Pierce County Community Engagement Task Force and its leadership team we're able to get together and say, you know what? If we're gonna do this, let's do this together. Let's do this collaboratively. So we're bringing collaboration for a cause to Puyallup, March 16th, over here at the Pavilion downtown. A lot of amazing resources and employers are gonna be there. Collaboration for a cause to understand, we focus on five sectors, which is employment, education and training, health, young adult services, and basic needs. So we really want to make sure that we have a holistic approach that we can serve the community. And no matter who you are, you can come there, you can be with us, we can come together, but we can also support you. Uh, one of the big things that are happening for the city of Puyallup, especially downtown, is um, Boeing's going to be doing on-the-job hiring, which is something that they usually never do. So we're going to be doing on-the-job hiring with Boeing and many other employers there as well. Also doing tax preparation for the community to help them make sure that they're getting things done the way that they need to get them done and how best to do it. Resume building, resume workshops, a lot of amazing things are going to be happening. So March 16th, make sure you guys come down. Pierce County Community Engagement Task Force in partnership with the Sumner Puyallup Chamber or Puyallup Sumner Chamber, whichever they prefer at this point in time. We do, we, it depends on where we are. Because <laughs> let me tell you, when we're in Sumner, we usually say Sumner Puyallup. <laughs> All right, well, it's going to be in Puyallup, so the Puyallup Sumner <laughs> Chamber to be able to partner with us. Um, always happy to have them on board as well. But this is for you guys' community. It's built by the community for the community, so please come out and support. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, I know that you guys have had a lot of these around the county, and they've been very well attended. And I know that the one at South Hill Mall, uh, about a, almost a year ago now, maybe, almost, yeah. um, attracted a huge crowd. Um, we try to, you know, there might be opportunities if you're an employer looking to hire. Um, we're going to um, let you know how to get, you know, involved in it if you want, if you're looking for people to. Um, but we're really excited. I think it's a very valuable thing for the community. and. Um, you know, we certainly love our relationship with Workforce Central, um, which is kind of a crazy ecosystem of different organizations. Yes. We opened the WorkSource Pierce location at the, the South Hill Mall. I feel like you guys are out in Puyallup a whole lot more than you have been. And you're becoming a fixture at a lot of our chamber events, I can tell you that much. Um, oh, man, you know, um, a fixture, you know, for me, <laughs> it, it will, because I, I, I just, dad. well, no, because I moved out to Puyallup, mm -hmm. you know, and for a minute I had to realize that uh, this is my community, you know, uh, born and raised in Tacoma, and, you know, so my heart's always been Tacoma, so, you yeah. know, now being out in Puyallup, I definitely want to be able to show up, support, collaborate with uh, many other leaders that are out here in Puyallup, you know, you were speaking earlier about the WorkSource Pierce location at the mm -hmm. South Hill Mall. Hey, if you have not been there, please go there. Everything that you would have at a WorkSource Center is available for you guys. And that came to fruition. Big shout out to Shelly Willis. Shelly. Having that vision. Uh, Shelly's on her board. We love her. You know, yep. the, the WorkSource Pierce family and Workforce Central to support in that dream. But um, we give the resources. We give the support. Other employers are out there doing on-the-job hiring mm -hmm. events. We have the education system out there and a lot of our partners as well and just other organizations serving the community. You know, I, I believe a few years back, Puyallup said that they needed it. We heard you guys. We're out here now and we're not going anywhere. So, you know, this is going to be a collaboration for a long time. Absolutely. And we have Shelly Willis, who's on our board, as also Workforce Central. 
um, just a great leader. She's part of our economic development and workforce um, committee here at the chamber. So there's a lot happening there. We're really learning how to work together, um, bring the resources to our employers and our community as best we can. Um, and you're a big part of that. So um, that's why I wanted you to come in here today <laughs> to learn a little bit more about you. So, you know, I don't know, it's kind of like a format. You can talk about whatever you want. I mean, I'm always curious about what inspires people, what they're passionate about, how they got to where they're going. Um, you know, I'd love to hear a little bit of that from you tomorrow. You know what? Um, my passion is uh, my mother. You know, um, growing up and recognizing that the system that we've grown up in, you know, a lot of single parents, you know, are only given the opportunity to be a provider or a nurturer, you know, and my That's mom hard. had to be a provider to, you know, house us, clothe us, feed us. And so that took away from her being able to just spend time and be with us. So, you know, um, just especially being a black young man, you know, in society, that was just something that statistically was expected and so when I started to grow flourish get a better understanding of what that looked like my mission and my grind was to make sure that other fathers and mothers would not have to sit in that system without having the support so my mother's story always drove me to be better in our community but um, you know being a father myself and you know having a partner and recognizing you know how much easier it is it just keeps me grinding, you know, however yeah. I can change what that looks like. Um, that's my mission. Mm -hmm. You know, I love my mom to death, but you know, she, she's probably not watching this. She's not onto this right now, <laughs> but um, my mother is my driving point. That's awesome. As a mom, uh, you know, of course, one's my heart, I have to say. Um, well, that's cool. I mean, it's always, you know, that having that mission kind of motivates you personally and professionally, Absolutely. right? So what about, tell me about, like, what's the favorite, your favorite part of your job, or what, what do you do that you love the most about your job? You know, the, the, the favorite part about my job is um, collaboration mm -hmm. and meeting so many incredible individuals that you usually wouldn't take the time to figure out what they do and how they do these things, but being able to collaborate with them, being able to just be free-flowing and saying, hey, what are you doing, and finding out more about what's going on. You know, um, really love Workforce Central for believing in that vision and allowing all of us to really just be cultivating in our own ways and um, just supporting how we do things. So I think for mine, you know, my, my favorite part about the work that I do and my job is it doesn't feel like I'm working. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I think I retired a few years ago. You know, it just doesn't feel like I'm working because I love what I do and I just have passion for helping the community. Well, I can tell. So, um, I would like to know a little bit more about kind of how you ended up in this role at Workforce or in, you know, tell Ooh. me a little about your career path. Man. Uh, we got lots of time tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the career path, actually, um, I worked for a city organization for a very long time and um, I was a journeyman pipe layer in my, in my past life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, I had people really saying, you know, um, are you sure this is where you need to be? You know, you, you need to be out more with people and stuff like that. And I, I didn't know, you know, I honestly didn't know. And um, I really just rolled the dice and took a gamble on myself. Um, our old CEO, Linda Nguyen, and our COO, Deborah Howell, actually reached out for me um, when they had found out about me from another colleague. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I remember walking in that office and I'm like, what is it? You know, yeah. what, what is workforce development? What is, mm -hmm. what do you do? And, you know, and they're like, well, no one's had this position. Like community engagement director wasn't a position that was highlighted in workforce development. Okay. And realizing that they weren't connecting to the community the way that they wanted to, they said, hey, we think you could be the guy for that. And I was like, well, I, I don't technically have a degree or anything. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of experience, but I don't have that. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time in my life that I, I watched um, two individuals literally look at me and scratch that requirement and said, what's your excuse now? And I said, I guess I don't have one, you know? And I'm like, what does it look like? I don't know, you're the blueprint. That's pretty cool. And so, you That's know, it, cool. it, was, um, it was a great opportunity um, from walking through that door and knowing that they were gonna believe in me. So mm -hmm. it was really just a, a roll of the dice and they saw something in me and you know, um, I really try to give that back and see things in others that they don't see in themselves right away because that was what was given to me. It was a gamble. Mm -hmm. It was a good one, but it was a gamble. Obviously. And so, you know, it's just, that's where I'm at now. 
So you've been there, how long have you been in that role then? Uh, almost five years. Okay. Almost five years. So you came in, new new kind of role. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you, how do you start? Like, what do you do? Just start oh, you, making you, relationships, <laughs> collaborating with people? You know what? people together? Uh, Lori, Because uh, I feel uh, like that's what uh, the chamber does. I, I, I remember sitting there and... I didn't know what to do, you know? I mean, I didn't <laughs> right, know what to do. Confession. To be Truth's completely honest with you, I was walking mm -hmm. down, and I come in, and I got this three-piece suit on, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> man, I mean, I thought I was on the campaign trail, you know? I'm just running through communities and just kissing babies on the forehead and shaking hands, and I'm like, I'm here to save the community, oh you know? And, and one of my mentors pulled me aside and was like, you know what? You got to change what that looks like mm -hmm. because you don't look like you to your community mm. you know it, it's like you've separated that and I was like oh man you're right well what does it look like mm -hmm. and he's like what does your community look like oh okay I think I'm gonna change it and so that's when I started to wear my hat again and I started mm. to wear my hoodies and started to wear my tennis shoes because I had to realize that this work wasn't a nine-to-five for me you know I represent this 24-7 mm -hmm. 365 and if I can't talk to you authentically in who I am, mm -hmm. why am I talking to you in a suit? You know, my community doesn't know me that way. So yeah. it just allowed me to get a better understanding and a better grasp of what community engagement really was. I think a lot of times they, they mix community engagement and they mix outreach with handing out a flyer. And, you know, that's not it. You know, you have to yeah. bed yourself into your community and really listen. You know, I, I think, you know, um, earlier you had said a fixture. And I think that happens because I listen mm -hmm. and I pay attention. And even though I don't do direct services, I know everybody that does. Yeah. And so when I hear it, I go get who's best for it. I bring them back to it. So trying to figure out who I was as community director, I had to be guided by other people to sit and say, you have to walk, talk, act, and be like your community in order for your community to trust and understand who you are because that accountability is different. You know, usually mm -hmm. you can throw a stone and, you know, you can go hide your hand behind an organization. This role, you can't do that. You can't do that. You yeah. have to be there. So the accountability is there. The trust is there. But seeing so many changes and how we've supported so many people in our community has helped and you can't do it alone either. You know, collaboration mm -hmm. is the best way of doing what that looks like because Absolutely. other people have they have strengths that you don't have. So, hundred percent. This whole team is incredible. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. You said something about our mentor. Who's your mentor? Tell me about your mentor. You know, what? I want to know about your mentor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a few mentors actually, but uh, if you want to talk about oh, it. one in particular, you know, my mentor is on your chamber staff. Who's you your know, mentor? Shelly Willis is my oh, mentor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she's on our uh, board. I was yeah, thinking, yeah. You know, yeah, she, she, she's, she's amazing. She's a big mentor for me. You know, she's um, an incredible mentor. She's really guided me mm -hmm. um, in a lot of ways to help me be successful and, you know, sort of let me fall when I do. And, you know, uh, another mentor of mine, Darius Slade, you know, um, older gentleman that worked for Olympia and retired and went to Thailand, you know. Okay. And, I remember he was the first one to turn me on to, you know, the why five times. And he always asked me, why are you doing this? And mm -hmm. I tell him, but why? And I tell him, but why? Why are you breaking <laughs> me down like that? He's like, because I want to make sure that your mission, vision, and values stay true to who you are. So that's why I continue to ask these things. So big shout out to Shelly. She was a mentor Shelley. of mine. <laughs> Definitely love her to death. And um, Darius Slade and, you know, many others that have really supported me in, in, in my mm -hmm. journey and where I'm at, you know. Um, very cool. Yeah. It, yeah. It's crazy. Well, mentorship is, is one of the things that we like we try to do with our women's networking group, mm -hmm. uh, Blue Scarf Society, and Shelly Willis is one of our mentors with that, and I'm mentoring someone right now, and it's really cool. Um, and and when our CEO, Tara, always tells a story of when she was just first kind of getting out in the community with, you know, running for office, doing PAC work, Business Alliance Chamber, her mentor gave her some honest feedback as well. And um, she tells that story a lot. So I just, when I heard the word mentor, I was like, okay, tell me about your mentor. <laughs> um, well, that's very cool. I, I've, you know, you, you, you bring people together. That's kind of what we do here at the chamber. 
I've enjoyed working with you, getting to know you better, um, and Shelly and everyone else at Workforce, Sam, you know, the business solution side, i got to get Sam in here one of these days to talk oh, about. Oh, man. Um, Sam Brasha does the, <laughs> you know, the business solutions. So, you know, helping all the businesses who are trying to employ people and get skilled workers and all of that. So that'll be a future one one of these days. But That one, you yeah. you, you got to have Sam in here. The business know. solution we team like is Sam. amazing. And he's also a member of the Pierce County Community Engagement Task Force as well. Sorry. Oh, um, tell me about that. Oh, man. That's what I wanted to know you, about. You almost missed that I one. know. We okay. Almost did. Okay. Uh, the Pierce County Community Engage, the Engagement Task Force, they were actually founded um, 2019. That was my first big idea at Workforce Center. Okay. You know, and... So you figured out what to do pretty quick. I, I figured <laughs> it out, you know, and at that time, I remember telling Deborah about it, and she's like, all right, well, we got to go to leadership, and we got to figure it out, and, you know, once I once I talked to him about it, it was, she was the one that said, hey, you know what? Cool. Do your thing. Make it happen. And so the Pierce County Community Engagement Task Force was created so we'd stop working in silos. That was really the mission behind the task force, and... We started with 10 organizations, 15 of us. And to be honest with you, Lord, no one liked each other. The first two meetings, no one really liked. It, it was the organization that they were based on and didn't know how to work with each other. Okay, interesting. And so when we finally said, you know what? Let's remove our professional titles and let's bring in our passion mm -hmm. and let's leverage our organizations to align with those passions and change the community for the better. You know, we've been going on, this year will be our fifth year together, and over 300 members and 150 organizations. We've served over 3,500 individuals and families within Pierce County. Wow. Uh, we actually drive off of leadership, organizational structures, outreach and engagement, people, providers. So whenever you hear Loop City, that is the task force. Okay. You know, that, that's, our little, that's our little bit, you know, and um, we have our website up um, with... DEAI lexicon stuff. Um, you can always go on to our website at pccetf.org. Okay. And you can find out about all of our meetings um, over the last two years, what we talk about, how we discuss things. We have bi monthly meetings. And the bi monthly meetings are really for um, personal growth and okay. the work that we all do together. Um, over the, this past summer, we had a, uh, a healing session. So we focused on, you know, self-advocacy, financial advocacy, hmm. you know, but they were all about who we were as service providers and leaders to this community, advocacy, and, uh, you know, Shelly just spoke on the power of you. It's, mm -hmm. it's really about the work we do is so hard, and the task force doesn't want you to feel alone in that work, so we're very inclusive, very open. That's cool. Because we want you there, you know. We, we yeah. have to change it, and we change it together. That's awesome. Well, I have heard about the task force because I there was a, a time that I wanted to try to get plugged into that, and I think I had some conflicts or something. <laughs> and then you know you get sucked into the chamber of world, and we're so busy over here. It's just it's hard to hard to do everything. We want to do everything, um, but I'm just so glad that we got connected, and um, it's been great seeing you um, in, with the chamber, and we just love supporting. Um, Collaboration for a Cause events. Absolutely. And, we appreciate yeah. you guys, too. I, yeah. I, I think I'm starting to become an honorary member of the Puyallup Sumner <laughs> Chamber. I think that's where I'm at right now. Well, you guys are because Workforce is definitely one of our community, our community partners. And so Workforce is a member. So you're a member. Absolutely. See, I'm a member now. I'm a member. i got to get a T-shirt or something if you guys uh, have one. Yeah, well, we got some water bottles. We'll make sure, uh, we'll make we sure you get one of these really cool water bottles. Um, well, gosh, tomorrow it's been really fun sitting down and getting to know you and what you're doing, what drives you and inspires you. Um, if you, if there's anything else you want to sum up with, just throw it out there. Um, a lot of great things coming to Puyallup, like I said. Collaboration for a cause. Make sure you guys put that on the calendar. We're going to get all the information out to you guys. The Pierce yep. County Community Engagement Task Force, PCCETF.org. Reach out to us. Come join us. Be a part of this change. It's not going to stop, so neither should you because we aren't. And it's built by the community for the community and a lot of amazing individuals that are trying to do this work. Trust me, we hear you. We're coming. I know it takes a while to get all through Pierce County, but everybody, we're going to make it out to you guys. And um, I look forward to seeing every one of you soon. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great. Hey, everyone, thanks for tuning in. and. Uh... Have a wonderful weekend.